Struggling with long-running power automate flows? Get automatic alerts and stay in control. Hello everyone, today in this video, I will show you how to get long-running flows from your power platform environments. I mean across all environments in your power platform and get a consolidated emails to your inbox. That will help you to manage your all flows in power platform environments. So let's get started how we can get it. This is my power automate flow. This flow will scan through all my flows from all environments in my tenant and this will give me all the long running flows as a report in my email inbox. This is the flow that I ran and I got an email automatically with the running duration details. You can see the email with the running flow report and how it looks. Let's run this flow again. Then I'll explain you how I have developed this. So here, this is the parameter. Let's say I want to get all my flows that have been running for more than 60 minutes. Right? This is my parameter I have passed here. And I will run this flow. This is manually triggered flow. My flow is getting ready for the run. My flow is running. Yes, it is running, and this will take some time to complete. It depends on the number of flows and the number of environments you have. It all depends on those objects. Since this is my test trial environment and I don't have many flows, I got my flow run completed quickly. I can see my flow ran successfully. I should have received an email. So this is the email. What does the email say? Let's see. Here is the list of all power automate running flows across your environments. These flows have been running for more than 60 minutes. You need to take action accordingly. And this is the subject of this email. List of all power automate running flows report running for more than 60 minutes, right? So I have intentionally kept one flow in a running state for this testing. It has been running for more than 60 minutes. And how I did that is, this is the flow, which I meant, this has been running for more than an hour, and I want to capture all my flows like this. And since I just have one example, only one flow, which is running for more than 60 minutes, I got that in my email report. To make my sample flow running for a longer time, I just applied a trick. Let's see that. I added a delay action after my sample flow trigger with a 120 minute delay. Due to the 120 minute delay configuration, this sample flow has to wait for 120 minutes to go to the next step and complete. These are the parameters you can configure in the delay action unit. Month, week, day, hour, minute, and second. I'm not getting into that in detail. So this is how I have set up my sample flow for long running flow testing. And then I got this email here. This way, getting long running flows report will definitely help you to manage your power platform environment effectively. If you have a large number of flows in your environments, as a power platform administrator for your tenant, you can automate this. And then based on the flows running status, you can take appropriate action for the long running flows. I have created this flow as manually triggered. However, ideally, this should be a scheduler type flow. You can schedule it to run once a day or once in every few hours. You can decide it based on your requirements. Then your power platform administrator can get a consolidated long running flow report automatically. 
So let's expand this flow how this is working. This is my parameter where I am passing flow running for how many minutes. For example, I want to get all flows running for 60 minutes and beyond. You can enter the integer value as per your requirement here, and this is the HTML table. Variable I have created for the flow report table creation. This variable I have created here for flow owners. All owners from a flow will be stored here. And this variable I have created for the alternate row formatting logic. So this is all about the variable setup. Now, let's go to the actual implementation. How I have done here is, I have grouped all my actions into the scope action. Then at the very first, I am getting all environments from my tenant using this action, list environments as admin. For example, this is my environment. I have only one environment in my tenant. However, this has the capability to read all the environments from your tenant. This action, list environments as admin, scans all environments from your tenant. And here I'm checking the length of that result. Like how many environments I got from this query. So this is the length you can see how I am getting. Here. Then. I am looping through each environment one by one. I have added this apply to each control to loop through the result of list environments as admin. Then, inside the loop, I am reading all flows from an environment dynamically using this action. List flows as admin, v2 where I am passing the environment name dynamically from the list environments as admin action. Then, I am setting the flow owners variable to empty before entering each flow owners loop cycle. I'm making sure that the value of owners has been reset. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm looping through each flow, checking whether it's running or not. To get whether a flow is in a running state or not, I am calling an API. You can see the API endpoint along with the filter parameters on the screen. I am passing this API endpoint here. In this endpoint, I am passing this environment, named dynamically from the list environments as admin output. And I'm passing this flow name from this list flows as admin v2 action output. So these two are dynamic parameters, and here in the filter, I am passing status equal to running, right? So this API is filtering all my flows, which are running. Perfect. Now what I'm doing is I'm parsing the output of this get running flow API. This is the JSON schema I have passed here. Then I'm checking the length of this output of the get running flows API. So if we get the length of these running flows, it is greater than zero, which means there are flows that are in a running state. This if condition validates whether we have a flow with a running state. When I see there is a flow in a running state, what I'm doing now is getting into this list of flow owners for that running flow. In the list flow owners action, I am passing the environment name from. The list environments as admin action and the flow name from the list flows as admin, v2, action dynamically. Then, what I'm doing is I am just capturing the length of that get flow owners output. Like how many owners do I have for a particular flow? Also passing this flow name dynamically from the list flows as admin action. So, everything is dynamic.
no static parameter passing here. Now I want to loop through each owner's details for the given flow dynamically. For that I have added this apply to each control and I am looping through this list of owners. And then I have added this get user profile action and pass this user object ID. That is user principal ID from the list flow owners output. I am adding this extra action, get user profile, because list flow owners don't give the owner display name, email, and other user profile related attributes except the user principal ID. So based on the flow owner's principal ID, I am connecting to get user profile then. I am getting the display name of the flow owner right. So using this, I am getting the display name of a flow owner. And finally, what I am doing is I am storing all owners for a flow in a variable separated by a comma as a flow can have multiple owners that also I am considering here. Finally, what I am doing is I am incrementing this row index variable by one. This is needed for the alternate row formatting logic implementation in the HTML table. Finally, I have added a compose action to construct the new row dynamically for my HTML table. Then I have added these HTML codes to pass the flow name, owner name, run duration, create a date, last modified date, and environment name dynamically for each long running flow. See how I have passed these dynamic parameters. With the help of the row index variable and mod functions, I am constructing the alternate row formatting color for each flow. Here, I am passing the flow display name, and then I am passing the flow state, whether it is started or stopped, dynamically. Okay, and this is the flow run duration parameter. Like, how many minutes the flow has been running? Then, passing the flow created date dynamic value. Then, similarly, I am passing the last modified date value. Finally, here, I passing the display name of the environment. So these are all dynamic values. That's how I'm getting these details in my email, right? This is how I got this email that contains the flow name, owner name, state, run duration, created date, modified date, and environment name. As of now, I have one environment and only one flow is in a running state. That's why I am getting only one flow in my report. However, it has the capability to capture all running flows across all your environments. This is the sample email example. Here is the list of all power automate running flows across your environments. These flows have been running for more than 60 minutes. You need to take action accordingly. Finally, what I'm doing is I'm adding that. Appending this to the HTML table variable using the append to string action, right? Then what I'm doing is I'm closing this body and table tag for my HTML table. If you notice at the beginning, while I have started creating this HTML table, I didn't close the body and table tags. This is the table tag and this is table body. I did not close them intentionally because I want to construct the values dynamically. That was the purpose. Here, you can see table headers like flow name, owner name, state, running duration, created date, last modified date, and environment name. All set now. Finally, what I'm doing is after closing the body and table, I have added. This send an email action and sending this dynamic email to admin. So this is the subject of the email. I have given list of all power automate running flows report running for more than X minutes. Here, X is your configured flow run duration, for example, 60 minutes.
Then this is the body part of the email. Hello, here is the list of all Power Automate. Running flows across your environments. These flows have been running for more than 60 minutes. You need to take action accordingly. Then, passing the HTML table variable in the body of that email. That's it, I am done with the flow development. This flow automatically scans long running power automate flows across environments and alerts admins via email when action is needed. It eliminates manual tracking, ensuring efficiency and better flow management. With scheduled automation, admins can focus on priority tasks while maintaining full visibility and control over power automate flows. Based on the flow run status, you can reach out to the respective flow owners about why the particular flow has been running for a long time. I hope you found this demo insightful and learned something new today. If it helped you, I'd truly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Exciting content is on the way. Stay tuned for trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies, including Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and more. Your support means the world to me. Let's grow together on this journey. Thank you.